What's up guys, it's Broman back here in Destiny to give you the rundown of my first raid weapon, the Sword Breaker. If you're going to face down a knight with an Ascendant Blade, bring an Ascendant Gun. This shotgun is amazing. First of all, let me point out, boom, 331 attack scaling, hot shit. But let's get into the nitty gritty. All right, we got a void damage shotgun here. Really high rate of fire. I feel like this does not reflect how fast you can shoot this gun. But but we'll get there. So, good rate of fire, solid impact. Pretty good range right out of the box. It's nice stability and uh, pretty pretty quick reload. Uh, I've got, um, you know, I, I, I buffed the range a little bit here. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's a good gun. It's a good gun. Uh, up next, we have uh, the Grenadier. Kills with this weapon. Reduce the cooldown of your grenade. Uh, and over here, we have final round. Last round of the magazine deals bonus damage. Now, these might re-roll. Uh, there were mentions of in Bungie's uh, release notes that, that, that legendaries in the, in the raid might have different and alternate perks on them or a large variation. So these could be different uh, if you get this drop. Um, here we got Flared Magwell and Hammer Forge to increase the range even more uh, to rival the Universal Remotes range. It's great. Uh, and then Lightweight, which is also another really good perk. But this, this is the key point. And now I'm, I'm obviously sure that uh, just like we had Oracle Disruptor, we now have a Hive Disruptor on every piece of raid weaponry. This increases damage to Hive Majors. Now, if you've done the raid, you know that the Hive Disruptor is going to be good because there are a dick ton of knights and wizards in the goddamn raid. And this will burst them down good. I, I can't wait to see what kind of bonus damage might happen. It's definitely going to make you feel really, really powerful. Uh, I hope. I hope. Because that's one of the best feelings in a game is just feeling overly powerful. And, and Oracle Disruptor was cool, but oracles are just little balls of light. This is a knight that you get to shoot and do bonus damage to. And that feels good, baby. But let's take a look at it. Now, as you guys know, I'm a little low on Glimmer, but I'm also low on some other stuff. Oh, nice little blade of Crota right here. I'm also low on some other stuff. So we're kind of down here uh, killing these guys. We're pushing our uh, pushing the Warlock through the, uh, the quest line here. So uh, we can do our Nightfall and Daily on our Warlock. Uh, but we got some, uh, you know, we got some good stuff happening down here. And I was not planning on that sword showing up, so that was very nice. Uh, we got to kill these uh, Hive Majors, and the Wizards and the Knights and all that good stuff. Uh, but thankfully we got a sword. <laughs> which is distracting me from the real purpose of this fucking video. Which is, of course, to show you how... <laughs> How this fantastic shotgun works. Now I want you to notice reload speed pretty quick compared to a lot of other weapons. Uh, and then of course we're going to get into the nitty gritty which my favorite part is of course the fire rate. So here we go. Let's check out this fire rate. Uh, it's insane. It is not full auto. It is just firing that fast because this gun gives no shits about you or your mama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not to mention it looks fucking sick. It's got skulls on the back. I mean, it's got skulls on the back. You feel me? You dig? I mean, it just looks nasty and it feels nasty. Now, one of the big complaints that people uh, said in my stream when we got this was, uh, hey, that's void. Why would you need that? Now, I don't know. Uh, you know, there was definitely some pieces of gear that dropped in the vault of glass that confused people. Uh, people were like, hey, um, why do I need this? It's Ark. And now you're really excited to have it. Uh, going back and uh, dealing with any Vex with this gun just feels really, really good. Uh, because you strip their shield and then you blow their face off. It's really useful in the, in the new PlayStation exclusive strike as well, where you're dealing with tons and tons and tons of Vex and lots of shields. Um, all in all, this is a fantastic shotgun. I think that the, the, the perks to it as well are going to make it a very, very good PvP shotgun as well. I uh, I really like the Swordbreaker. I can't wait to get more guns and see more of the lore on this gun um, and the rest of the guns in the raid. Uh, just like the the guns in the last raid kind of stole the story of the people who, who dared go in there. Uh, a lot of these weapons seem to be telling the story of how dark and sinister the uh, 
the hive are, which I think is pretty cool. I love learning more about why we're fighting what we're fighting. Thanks for watching today, guys, and thank you for celebrating with me as we grabbed our, our first sexy, sexy piece of raid gunnage. Mmm, delicious. Uh, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you uh, like the Destiny content. I will promise to keep it coming. And do not forget, I fucking love each and every one of you. Make <laughs> I love you guys. Also, we're really close to 40,000 uh, subs on YouTube. I want to say thank you for that real quick. Thank you, thank you. Or by the time this video came out, it might have already happened. Either way, I really, really, really appreciate each and every one of you and your support. Thank you, and I will see you next time in Destiny.